So in this video, we're going to look at some integrals and determine whether they converge or diverge. The main tool we'll be using is called the p-test. So the p-test basically says that the improper integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x to the p dx, this guy here will converge, so it converges if p is bigger than 1, and it will diverge, so diverges if p is less than or equal to 1. So that's the main thing we'll be using in these examples. So let's look at our first example. We'll take the improper integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over the square root of x dx. So in this case, we can rewrite what we have as 1 to infinity, 1 over x to the 1 half dx. And so you see that the value of p here is 1 half. So p equals 1 half, and that is less than or equal to 1. So our integral diverges by the p-test. Pretty easy problem, just a straightforward application of the p-test. Let's keep going and do more examples, and we'll try to make them progressively a little bit harder. So b. How about the improper integral from 1 to infinity of, say, 1 over x to the fourth dx? So again, very straightforward. Here, p is equal to 4. That's bigger than 1. So our integral converges by the p-test. Okay, so the first two were pretty straightforward. In the first example, our p was 1 half. That was less than or equal to 1, so it diverged by the p-test. In the second example, uh, our p was 4. That was bigger than 1, so it converged by the p-test. Let's look at some harder examples. How about something like this? Let's go from 1 to infinity. Let's look at 1 over x squared plus 7 dx. So in this case, we have to be a little careful. Let me use a different color. We can't quite use the p-test because we have the 7, so we have to use what's called the comparison test. So notice that 1 over x squared plus 7, well, it's greater than or equal to 0. That's one of the requirements of the comparison test. And it's less than 1 over x squared. And the improper integral of 1 over x squared from 1 to infinity converges by the p-test. So by the p-test, since p is equal to 2, and that's bigger than 1. Hence, our integral, so the improper integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x squared plus 7 dx converges by the comparison test. So by the comparison test. So it's very similar to the comparison test for infinite series. So we have an improper integral with an integrand smaller than the integrand of a convergent integral. Therefore, our integral must converge as well. Let's do another one. This one is a little bit harder. So d. So we'll have a trig function in it. How about uh, 1 to infinity of 5 minus cosine 3x? Yeah, why not? Divided by x to the 7th dx. Let's go ahead and work this one out. So solution. So again, we'll use direct comparison. Note that cosine of 3x is trapped between 1 and negative 1. So 5 minus cosine 3x over x to the 7th. Well, 5 minus a number trapped between negative 1 and 1 is going to be positive. So this is greater than or equal to 0. And what's the biggest that the numerator can be? Well, that will occur when this is negative 1. So if this is negative 1, we'll get 5 plus 1, so 6. That's the biggest it can be because cosine is trapped 
between 1 and negative 1. And the improper integral from 1 to infinity of 6 over x to the 7th dx converges by the p-test, by the p-test, since p is equal to 7, and that's bigger than 1. That's a 7, and that's a greater than sign. <laughs> that means that our integral converges by the comparison test. Therefore, our integral, so the improper integral from 1 to infinity of 5 minus cosine 3x over x to the 7th dx converges by the comparison test. Comparison test. So again, we took, we looked at the in integrand of our improper integral and we showed that it was smaller than the integrand of a convergent integral. So therefore, by the comparison test, our integral converges as well. I hope this video uh, has helped. That's it.